Um, my name is Christopher Brady. I'm gonna go to Nova High School and um, I'm a part of Freedom House. Hi, my name is Sanaya Hall. I'm going to Corsman Shire for High School and I'm from Freedom House. Hi, my name is Ivy Good. I'm going to Calvary Christian High School. Freedom House! Is that good? <laughs> On an unusually chilly 61 degree night in South Florida, we welcome you to American Airlines Arena in downtown Miami. It's game one of our Thursday night doubleheader, the NBA on TNT, presented by State Farm. The Red Hot Boston Celtics facing the Miami Heat. Please welcome to the court under the direction of Annalise Pacheco. Freedom House from Church by the Glades. The experience was very great at the Miami Heat game. Just seeing like all the people there and like seeing like the impact that we have made, it was really great. <laughs> and just doing it was like really fun and like doing all the rehearsals and the practices. Those were tough at times because Ryan kept on yelling at us, but <laughs> they were really fun overall. It was a little nerve wracking. I feel like we were all nervous. Um, I think my brother really freaked out when he seen me on the Jumbotron. Um, yeah, but it was really fun. It was a cool experience for me. Season Orlando hosting the Spurs, the sixth overall pick, Mo Bamba. At the Orlando Magic game, I went was able to go down on the court and I was part of the lip sync and it was great. It was really fun to be dancing in front of all those people, especially because it was gay pride night and we got to just share the love of Jesus on everybody and especially those who thought that Jesus didn't love them. For our Orlando Magic trip, we had a lip sync there, and for the that like the theme of the night was like gay pride, and like although the Bible says that that's just a sin, we know that our God still loves all people despite of that. So we went on there, and that we proclaim that our God is unstoppable and that He loves us, and I'm pretty sure that He used us to plant a seed that night. Additionally to that, we went to an amusement park called Fun Spot, and we were just hanging out, going on roller coasters, going on roller coasters, and like eating a bunch of snacks. And then the day after, we went to a huge church called Faith Assembly, and that was a whole lot of fun. Like they had a Starbucks in there, and the message was just on point. The college road trip was fun for me, um, and the schools that we went to was fun. We went to big name schools like UM, FAU. USF, UCF, UF, and FSU. It was really fun to be on the college road trip. Um, it was just fun to travel together for those days and it was just exciting to be a part of the kids being able to make a vision for what they want for their life and get to see the campuses and decide which one they could possibly want to be a part of. What group tonight, AJ? The best. What did you learn? I learned that even though if you sin, God's still like going to love you and if you're pent with your mouth, you like confess with your mouth and like you love Jesus with your heart, you're still going to be saved no matter what. That's good. Yeah. The leaders have made a great impact on my life because there's somebody who you can go to when there's something going on in the group or you're worried about a different student or you just have a question about something uh, that could help you on your journey. <laughs> These kids have really impacted my life. Um, it's down to personal decisions like would I do this in front of a student? Would I act like this in front of a student when I'm not even with students? It's like a reminder that God says you're a leader outside of Wednesday. Just because the wave is over on a Wednesday doesn't mean you're, you're off the clock. Um, I heard that a lot from my old youth pastor so I try to replicate that here with our kids. They always call me, they always text me Monday through Friday. Um, and again, that's why I usually don't get a lot of sleep because somebody always needs help or advice or question about a Bible verse or a girl. And it's, it's one of the most rewarding but thankless jobs. Um, they make me better. And I can read as much as I, I can of the Bible, but when I see them, I see the purity in them. I see the willingness to be better in them and it convicts me as an adult to be better and to be more like Jesus.